So it was a great week for Las Vegas as far as the Raiders picking up a dub. Also, Shaquille O'Neal, he held his second annual The Event over at MGM Grand Garden Arena. Big concert and all of the proceeds, as Shaq will tell you, not some of them, but all the proceeds would go to the Las Vegas youth. I had a chance to sit down with the big Aristotle, the big cactus, the man with a million nicknames to chat about what he's doing here in our community. Let's check it out. Well, the, there's about four or five entities in this world that are underpaid. Teachers, these guys, firemen. So I, I've, I've always lived by the motto, you treat people with respect, right? You, you treat people as you expect them to treat you. I'm the shack, everybody's gonna be nice to me. So I, I'm gonna be nice to everybody. I denounced myself as being a celebrity two years ago because those people are crazy. And they're getting crazy. No sense, they're getting crazy. I don't want to be no celebrity because they're, cause they're folks. No, I hate to say it, so I'm, I'm going back to you Remember when uh, Superman and Superman 2, when he went back to Alaska and he gave his powers back? That's how I am. I ain't playing 11 years. I'm just a regular guy. You see, I ain't got no entourage. I go to Lifetime, I go to Walmart, I go to Tropical Smoothie, I drive a Dodge Charger. I want to be a regular guy. I don't want to be. I don't want to be those those crazy uh, celebrity people. Okay. Uh, last year we raised a lot of money. All percents of the proceeds go to helping underserved youth in Vegas and Atlanta. Last year with some of the money I built the Boys and Girls Club. We're doing something similar. All the money goes. I'm not the 85 percent. So if we make 2.8 three million dollars, it's all going to help the kids out in Vegas. So. This is something you, you kind of mentioned last time, but I wonder about this now. Why Las Vegas? You know what I mean? You, Orlando, LA. Yeah, I've been, I've been coming here 30 years, probably been living here 10 years. We own a, a couple of businesses here. Look, it's just a great town. I like towns where you can be over here and not do anything, and then drive a couple minutes and have all the action. Not that I partake in the action, I'm just I'm just saying. I like, I like knowing that the action is there. That's why I live in Miami. I live in Dallas and I live in Atlanta, but I always live like 30, 45 minutes out. But I like it. Listen, Sin City, you know, what can you say about it? And the significance of you having the event right around October 1, you're giving the uh, the tickets here, it's right around the, the time of October 1, and just the significance of you doing it right around the I just, time. you know, every time I see a police officer, I take it to say, be safe. A lot of people don't know what they go through. I know what they go through. I've been there with them, searching a warrant. One of the scariest things. Domestic violence call, one of the scariest things. Just, you know, stopping somebody on the highway, one of the scariest things. Going in certain neighborhoods, you know, one of the scariest things. So I, I, I know personally what they go through. I just like to tell them be safe and I appreciate you. You know, people always say, man, you, you just nice to the cops because, you, you know, you shack. I said, no, you, got, you have to be nice to people because they're people. Like, just because I make this and they make that don't make me better than them. And I was taught that by my father. Because again, my father's a military drill sergeant does not play. Letter of the law. Like if it said do this, you have to do that. There ain't no going around it. So <clears throat> I've always been like this. And the guys that's been taking care of me, Uncle Mike and Uncle Jerome, police officers out of Newark, New Jersey. So I've always been smart enough to have people around me that are smarter. See, a lot of these celebrities, they just do what they want to do and they don't have any guidance. But I've always had great guidance, military, police officers, and uh, basketball.